They have sent me to speak to you. Hello, welcome. My name is Max. Greetings, Max. I am King Enoch. Uh, Enoch, thank you, King Enoch. Thank you for coming. Um, so we spoke to Khufu, and uh, later we spoke to King Arthur, and um, we are. We would like to learn more. There is a, a great opportunity here, but uh, it would be nice to know what's happening. Not all can be told about what is happening in your world because it has not been revealed to your people yet. It will not be, it has to roll out slowly so that people can understand who we are and why we are here or why we have returned. The thing is, we were away for a very long time and they do not even relate to us any longer, but they relate to the, the karma that is all around them in this age, which is a dark gray, a gray karma that is very unhealthy for humanity and for any species. This is a, a kind of karma that may cause the destruction of your world, that may cause thought processes to go off into the wrong direction. And therefore we must be careful how we reintroduce ourselves so that people will not be too stunned, not be too overwhelmed, and not be too afraid to change the way that they are or the, their thought processes about this current life that they are living. Remember, you've been in this realm for thousands and thousands of years. We have been away for a, a great deal of time that your realm has become confused has become conflicted and oh, contaminated with interactive negative thought processes that have become part of your everyday life you live in a world where your thought processes of the society rule how you act and how you feel you must go along with society uh, and if you want to be part of it. Otherwise, you become an outcast. And the outcasts are the light workers. They cannot even speak freely about what they believe in your society because they will be ridiculed or sent away or isolated in some way. L light workers although they are all over the place on your planet, are afraid to shine, are afraid to stand up and say who they are. They're afraid to be themselves. They can't talk to anyone. They can't even talk to their families. In many cases, they cannot talk to their friends because they know that there is a different thought process that rules this planet, that rules this society and they will be isolated or uh, brought down if they are to speak about it in this way. Now, as we are coming forth, the Magi Kings will bring information from the holographic disks to this world. The information has been hidden by Toth in the some of the the Numerian crystals around the world. But the thing is, he does not have access to all the information, and neither do we. Not yet. There is no one with total control over these disks because the information is vast and will take years and years for it to be downloaded and understood. It, it's been being downloaded for a very, very long time and still there is still information yet to gather and still information yet that is unheard. This, the tablets tell about the creation of the universe, this particular universe, and about all the beings that are here, the creation of all that is here. Your solar system in particular is a very big interest to those that are around that are not being totally honest with the world. They want to find this information because it will help them to rule 
the galaxies and the universe. You see, this information is all, uh, all encompassing when it comes to the universe. And therefore, there are many things that they're looking to, to show them how to rule it in a better way, or how to rule it in a way that they can have complete control. So we are here to stop that. Not that they are trying to be evil, necessarily. Not that they are trying to cause life to be bad, necessarily. But because of the way that is, it has been rolled out to your world and to many other worlds, it is negative and it will cause negativity. Look at the different war, uh, wars on your world. Because of this kind of information, these wars have come about. For the positive information to come forth the way it should come forth, there would be no wars. There would be no religious uprisings. There would be no divisions in your religious understandings. There would be only the one religion, the one God, and the one understanding. But there are many, many understandings and diversities with your religions on this planet, and therefore it causes it causes you to be separated. It causes disunity. It causes confusion. It causes negativity. And so therefore, we are coming back to bring purpose in a one-minded thought process to your world. Like the light workers, many of your light workers are one thought process minded about the light. They believe that God can come and create a one world unity here. But the, the lie that has been spread is that the Antichrist will be the one that unites the world on your planet. The one that will be the peacemaker and then bring everyone to their knees to worship him. That is a lie. There will not be an Antichrist if we are able to come back. If we are able to be a part of this world, there will be no such thing as Antichrist or no need for or necessity for revision on the earth or re-evolution of this planet because we will bring back the pro thought processes and energies that are positive and that are directed toward God in a very positive way. I know that what I speak is very confusing. No, no, it's good. It, in some ways, it can be confusing to those that are not one-minded in a religious sense, or not light workers in a religious sense, but are still searching for their destinies, still searching for their pattern of thought. And this will come to them. There are many things predicted to happen on this world before we are able to reestablish our, our, our kingdom. But in the meantime, look forward to positivity. Bring your thought process into an alignment with us so that we may have your energies so that we can bring this through. Now, with creator elements on your planet. Those creator beings have been told they have higher selves and they have a greater understandings and all kinds of things about their beings that cannot possibly be true. Creator beings cannot have higher selves. Creator beings must not believe that they are be going, going to become their higher selves because they are creator beings and they will become their creator beings after they have left this planet. And there is no one else they will become but themselves. So they must believe that their creator elements are within them. Why should they need anything else but their own higher creator being self to judge and rule how they act on this planet? 
There is no need to take on spirit guides when you have a creator being that is guiding you. There is no reason for creator realms to exist if they cannot help with other planets and become part of them to help with their societies and the way things move forward. So therefore, all you that are creator beings, shun your higher self because, because you are your higher self in a creative realm. You must understand your higher self is your God self that God created eons and eons ago. So do not be fooled by any guides that will try to tell you that they are part of something else. Does that make sense to you? Is it true only for creator beings or for everybody? For creator beings, for angelic beings, for those that are connected directly to the seventh dimensional realms and higher. I see. All so right. you said you said that there is a, a separation and uh, uh, the idea of separation here and the in, inner conflict embedded in our culture and that is very um, ne very obvious here. Some people have a, a conflict inside them. Some families have a conflict inside them. So it seems to be like uh, part of the nature here. And you're saying it's it's external, extraneous. It has come from centuries of uh, subtle distruth, subtle persuasion, subtle uh, internalizing of the things that are not true, putting information on top of the truth that is not there, that is m made by someone else created by another thought process for manipulation purposes. So your society is manipulated. Free will has become greatly reduced. Yes. Yeah. I mean, being in a society reduces free will. Like going to school, you have to turn off your free will. Exactly. This is what I'm talking about with your society. Your society lives as a flowing wave of understanding. They believe that what they are putting out into the world is the correct understanding of how to live, but it is not true. It's taken centuries for you to get this far into deception, but you see the deception has become truly, amazingly full. Oh yeah, lots of deception. So why were you absent all that time? What was happening? We were being detained by uh -huh. those who want to run this universe. They know what we would do, but they wanted to try it their way instead. They did not want us to rule. They wanted themselves to rule because that gives them ultimate power over the universe and everything that happens within it. It's not necessarily an evil thought. It's just the thought of control. It is a thought of taking over. It is a thought of this is the way I want it to be. I don't want it to be your way. I want it to be my way. You understand that kind of thinking. It is the way of thinking of your society. Everybody wants it their way. And they put that thought into this society from their own thought processes. This idea uh, resembles the idea of uh, Hindu religion and the idea of uh, Greek religion, where the humans felt like they were uh, just uh, passive observers of the of the wars which have happened between gods. It's very much like that. We are somewhere, somewhere, somewhere here on Earth, and the gods have conflict, like uh, the ones you mentioned, like you, you guys, and the guys are the controllers, and there is a fight which we have very little control over. Whatever way they can find to manipulate your people and the people of the galaxy and the universe, they will use. Not everybody will fall for the same philosophies. 
not everyone will believe the same things. So therefore, they've divided their thought processes into many different religions and thoughts so that they can manipulate them separately and unitedly because they are all under a deception and therefore they can control that deception from where they are. Um, we were learning about the aliens uh, as light workers. We were learning about the aliens and the main lesson we learned is that the aliens wouldn't come and save us, that we have to do it ourselves. That is and correct. Now, and now apparently you guys are the 12 kings are coming and uh, we are not aliens All in right. the, some senses. But we will explain more about that later. It is too soon for us to reveal all. Right. So I spoke to Toth and I really liked Toth and I really liked him. He was very uh, informative and uh, charming. compassionate. He charming, is compassionate, yeah. charming, warm, wise, thoughtful. He is all these things. But also, he is deceptive. So, so his, uh, his action goes beyond the planet, right? His actions go well beyond the planet, yes. They go well beyond what you can imagine. But still, there is some, some choices that we have to make, right? There are always choices for you to make. We cannot return in a fullness until we are accepted to some degree. We must understand you as you understand us, but we already do. We know the light workers and we know who is not light workers. We understand how they believe and what they do not believe. Some of them are still confused and deceived, but with that, we must take into consideration how they were formulated into this world and put into a human body and how that society had brought them up into this world. And so they are not to blame for the deceptions that they see and feel and are concurrently agreeing with. They have to understand that there is a purity that must come and bring a, a pure thought process to this realm and to the realms all around. So when I speak to you and when I spoke to King Arthur, um, I had a very clear sign that I'm speaking to very high energies. Uh, yeah. But also I have pretty clear signs that I'm speaking to high energies when I speak to Thor. So how do I discover? Absolutely. He is a very high energy. There is no question about that whatsoever. Right. He was so able to steal the 12 holographic tablets and put us away for a while because he had the help of many other species that wanted to also help him with his rule. But you see, he, he does not work alone. He is a very high creature, as well as we are. But you have to understand, there is a duality here in the universe, but it will not always be that way. Continue with your thought process. I do want to hear how you finish it. Oh. How do we find, do we find who, which ones are, uh, are good and which ones are bad? That is for you to feel, for you to know in your heart. I see that there is some confusion, as I've talked about. In this world, you will not know right from wrong in many ways because society has taught some things to be right that are wrong and some things that are wrong to be right. Right. It would be nice to know more. I mean, we have we like children. I mean, there is there are obvious, obvious things of kindness, obvious things of uh, you know, puppies are great. So puppies are beautiful. I mean, we certainly oh, cool. want we the want to be, yeah. The innocence will find its way. Innocence has not been corrupted at this point. It is the greatest power in the universe. It could rule the universe with wisdom if it had that understanding uh, attached to it. But innocence dies when uh, things happen and society comes in 
and makes one believe different things. The death of innocence is a great sadness. So there are some absolute things, but when it comes to uh, higher beings, we have very little information about you guys. That is correct. And why should he give you information about higher beings? He does not want you to know what he's doing. He does not want you to know how this has all come about, but we will bring the truth, but it has to come in a way that can be understood. We are still deciphering how to re-evaluate this society and what is the best way to let it breathe again in a way that is clear and pure. Right. So we already established um, connections to wonderful beings um, from other dimensions. Uh, so uh, like Jesus and Krishna, what was your relationship with Jesus and Krishna? Our relationship is that they have an attachment to the true God. However, all the things around all religions have been muddied in some way. But Krishna's personality, Vishnu, all the Hindu gods, Saraswati, Lakmi, I could name them all, but their connection to God is true. But the information around them it has been muddied to a point where you cannot see God in his truth, in his reality. The Hindu religion was a concept that each personality was a facet of God's personality. And so therefore you could see more of the true God through Hinduism than through any other religion because there was more facets of his personality available. And that is somewhat true. But then there is somewhat, there is many lies that are in there as well that are muddying the truth about his true personality. Because God is pure. Look at Shiva, for example. He has anger. He has impurities. He has, he cut off the head of his son. Would a God really do that? Would a loving, loving God really do that? Right. Things to think about. Um, also in the Islam religion, death to the infidels, would a true God really say that? Uh, my question is a little bit different. Uh, we, we established connections uh, with some of our higher beings some of the nice aliens and some of their spiritual beings. And I wonder uh, if you're in a relationship with any of those, so we could speak to them and they would recommend. Basically, I would look at, I'm looking for a third opinion saying that this world of kings are real deal. Uh, are you, are you in, in, uh, in contact with Kutumi maybe? Kutumi is wonderful, yes. Right. Would it a true God let his son die on a cross. Um, that's a huge question. That's a huge question, right. But I mean, if the whole thing is messed up, you know, let a true God let you, let you guys get captured, right? So, so I mean, things happen in this. It looks like the whole, the whole world is a, uh, is a playground for, uh, for the different forces to fight. So, so we are just trapped in in that it fight. It is true. You are absolutely correct. The the whole universe and all the universes are playgrounds for good and well, positivity and negativity. Let's call it that way. Let's say that they are a playground. Why is God allowing that? Would a true God allow that? Um, how can I we think know? He, I think he would 
because he wants to learn about his children, learn about his creations. However, there comes a point where he will read power. Yeah, it, it's also a possibility, of course. Of course. We are here to stop that reset, if we can. Um, can you can you also speak about your connections with uh, with uh, so so you left long time ago before before the historical time I guess before we were gone twenty two thousand years ago right but but at that time I guess Rama was around right um, there was many different beings yes some of them were very true. Some of them came here to start uh, to tell the world about us. Some of them were trying to rekindle our, the thoughts about us and the truth about who we were and how we existed. The stories about King Arthur, were about how good he was and the battles that he had, and it was all tainted eventually. Right. Uh, the aliens were around a uh, big way, so there were uh, blue avians, there were um, Mar Mar I don't know if Martians were around, Atlanteans for sure, or Lemurians, right? Yes. Um, Ar Orions, Syrians, Pleiadians, all were around. So, so did you communicate with all those aliens, right? You were part of that uh, galactic... Uh, it's still after the flood, yes. The flood was part of their plan to capture us. Oh, I see. Because we were there to help uh, stop it, and our energies were being used in many different ways, but the flood distracted us while they captured some of the, the disks. Right. So how human are you guys? I mean, the humans at that time weren't, weren't big on the planet, so you want hum likely you want humans, right? We are not human, but we are part human. Uh, are you part we Atlanteans, are, part Lemurians? We are part human, part angel. This is oh, wow. the way it is. This is the re what is meant to be for this planet, but it is not been. Right. And, and the fallen angels are the ones we thought? Some. Ah. Huh. Now it makes more sense. We are part human, part angel, because that is what God wanted for this world. Right, I see. He wanted to... There is an angelic realm. It now has ten realms. It used to only have nine, but now it has ten. But that is no, nothing for us to talk about now. But the thing is, this world here was supposed to be a human-angel hybrid society. Mm. And it became uh, a trap for angels? It became many different things. It's seeded so that it's still seeded in a, such a positive way that the blood samples from your bodies can help heal many different species. That is not a lie. That is still the truth. But it is because of, but they are not letting that happen. Uh, they are not allowing that seeding process to help the universe, at least not yet. Right. And it looks like the Earth is uh, somehow coupled with many other um, planets, and whatever happens here affects them directly. Is it of right? Of course. Absolutely. That is part of the information of the universe.
I see. So what should we do? You should wait for now. But remember, keep us in mind and remember us in your prayers. Do not doubt us. But yet, I understand if you do. It does not... It, it, it behooves me to tell you that um, there are so many deceptions that it, it does seem unlikely that even I am telling the truth. But look at all the false flags around you. Some of them are false and the others are not. They have muddied the waters so badly that no one can tell the difference. Is this a false flag or is it the truth? Did this really happen? Was it staged? Nobody even knows. There will be reports of false flags from every major disaster or every major shooting event. And people will say that was planned by the government to bring fear into your life and tell them that they need guns. No. False flag, false flag, what can it be? There are truths in everything, and there's also false in everything that is happening in your world. But yeah, we, we, we grew up here among the deceptions, so maybe we are even better experts in deception than you are. Yes, I would believe that. I mean, in our world when we, uh, I even wrote a book about deception, so basically to decipher the truth, we, we have lo lots of different tools and uh, one is introduction. So if uh, someone is introduced by someone else, then we trust much better. Like Jesus was introduced by uh, John the Baptist, and that that helped, and so on. So, so it would be nice if you were introduced. That that is uh, that is a usual thing in our deceptive world. You asked for me to come, so I came. Right. You did not ask for an introduction, except for my own. Okay. There I, I mean, will be introductions in the world, and already there are. But you must find them. Yeah, I guess it would be better called recommendation, right? If you come with a recommendation of Jesus, that would be uh, helpful. Yes. Just because the world is deceptive. Of course. Right. Um, well, I so cannot yes, you and tell you that um, Jesus is recommending me right now because I don't even know where he is at this moment. But I'm sure he would. It's just that he is not around this planet fully yet. He is here in a body, but there is parts of him still working in the universe. Right. And he has, it has to be that way because they would stop him if they knew where he was. Right. There is many things that are very difficult for humans to understand about where we have come from and what we are doing. But that is why I am here, is to introduce the information, not myself, but the information. You see, the information that is coming will be hard to understand at first, perhaps. And that is why we cannot give it to you fully and freely without some kind of interpretation that makes it more sensible. Um, so if you come 12 kings and you said you will uh, divide the influence, would it be territorial or some, some, somehow else? Or genetic or some other way? It is genetic in some ways. We'll explain that later. The 12 stargates, the 12 tribes, the 12 kings, mm -hmm. there is a magic in the number 12, and that is the three. We will also explain that as well. Wonderful, thank you. Um,
Yeah, I guess um, maybe Takur would be a, a good person to speak next because uh, we established good rapport with her and uh, she might give us some insight on, on that area as well. And she's very highly spiritual. Very well. I will bring her to you. Thank you much. Thank you for coming. Many blessings to you. Greetings, I am Takur. Greetings, hey. Mac. Hey, Takur. Uh, nice to connect to you again. It is wonderful to connect to you. So I, I, I wonder if you can comment on, on the 12 kings. We are just becoming aware of them ourselves. They have been uh, in this realm. Only King Arthur and uh, is the only one that has made himself known uh, until today. Uh, they are not revealed. So we are not sure who they are. We have a record of the great past from the 12 kings from long, long ago. And they were a very positive group. However, we know nothing about them at this point. The, all the information about them has been taken away or concealed. I see. Um, what else is happening? How, how are things? Things are going well, as far as we can see. We are helping with your weather. We are helping with the axis not to move. We are helping with uh, the earthquakes to calm down a little bit. Even though we're in a, a grand solar minimum, we have managed to help some of the tectonic plates to settle down and some of the uh, volcanoes to uh, subside. So we are feeling that we are doing a good job of keeping things a little more normal. The weather is still well out of uh, control because of the axis has moved far enough to affect the jet streams and because of different things that are happening, the earthquakes and volcanoes all of the, also affect the weather and the jet streams. So you still have a great deal of weather to contend with, but we are uh, working on that as well. Some of this weather is also man-made, so you have to understand we cannot help with those weathers that are man-made. That is something that your people have contrived and we cannot in affect it in any way. It must happen the way it must happen. Um, how does the hybridization go? The hybridization is, uh, you mean for uh, the humans giving their donations to us? Yes. The, the hybrid program is a very successful. There is a whole planet at this time dedicated to hybrid children and families. That would be the planet of Polana. We're trying to move as many of the hybrid children and families there as we can because the educational system there is set up for hybrid children and the hybrid children seem to be a higher level of understanding than just the normal uh, children that are being born into the each species. We feel that this is by intention for some reason, that these uh, particular hybrid children are higher functioning, higher understanding and greater uh, of a greater light energy than uh, any of the uh, children being born naturally, except for those that are hybrid children being born on your planet. Now there are hybrid children also being born there, and those children are also brilliant and have higher IQs than regular children that are being born. Wonderful, thank you much. Any progress with the conversation with the governments? The governments are very stubborn and they are uh, not willing to change their thought processes about much. 
we are getting through to some extent. We can tell by some of the silence. Silence is a great speaker, actually. If they don't argue with us and they are silent, that does not mean they agree with us, but it does mean that they are thinking about what we are saying in a more um, deep thought process. A deeper thought process. Well, there is a, a feeling of instability both in, um, in Russia and uh, in America. Um, yes. Do you have is, any insights what is going to happen? I do not ha know what's going to happen, but I know that the, these particular disturbances and, and, uh, and anxieties between the countries is coming to a head and something will happen soon. We're afraid for the Middle East because that's where uh, it would be most logical for a war to break out first. However, there are other places that are being looked at as targets and your United States is one of them, but it is illogical to some point to um, bomb the United States because that would cause a great deal of a great deal of problems throughout the entire world. But the thing is, some do not care. Uh, I was thinking about internal instability more like uh, rather than external. It looks like Russia is shaking. Yes, Russia is shaking along with many others. China is surprisingly shaken as well. The United States is not doing well either. Remember, the financial situations of all these countries are dubious at best. Yeah, on that topic, I, I wonder if Gunther is available. I, I think he was uh, the most informative about the financial situation. Can you check if he could speak? Who? Gunther. 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 What was his last name? Rose Baker. Gunter Rose Baker. Mm -hmm. Ah, I know who that is. He was the one that was part of the cabal and not, then changed. Is that the one? Yep. Let me see if he's available. One moment, please. Hey, Gunther. Welcome. Thank you for coming. This is Max. Greetings. So I, um, I wonder uh, if you have heard about this 12 Kings and um, uh, have any, any comments on them? In the Oversoul, they are known, but they are, it is that the information is coming everywhere. It is coming to all different areas of the universe at this time. So I am still learning about that. Uh, and about thought be, being negative, are you aware of that? They do not say that he is negative, necessarily. They just say that he wants control. I see. But in, in, in the interpretation that he stole uh, the Emerald Tablets and, uh, and now is... Uh, according to the way that things are looked at at this point, there is no good and evil anymore. It's, it's all meshed in together. So I am 
I'm starting to be a bit confused about it. I see. So there is no evidence that Saul says is uh, Satan in charge of Cabal, or is there? I cannot speak freely, freely and know the truth about that yet. Because there was like uh, a hint that Saul is uh, Lucifer and Satan and uh, he is on the dark side and I'm not well, sure. It is, yes, it's, the thing is, is Satan and Lucifer dark at this point? Your interpretation of them is, however, there's much confusion here about that at this point. Having that God said that Lucer, Lucifer was forgiven. Now, but did he turn back to the light? No one knows. I just noticed that uh, Shiva in India is very popular and uh, the God Destroyer is being uh, worshipped and lots of people are praying to him and consider yeah. Destroyer be more perfect than creator. Yes. It is a confusing time we live in. I am back uh, in a body, by the way. Back what? I am, part of me is back into a body. I am just being born not long ago, so I still don't have all the properties of me within, within the earthly elements. Oh, I see. So you can still channel with me because I am not fully there. So you left the previous body? Yes. I thought Gunter was pretty good. Uh, he was doing well. Why did he? Why, why did he die? I don't know. I'm in a state of flux. I see. Um, all right. Um, do you have any insights on the financial situation? The financial situations are dire. There is too much debt everywhere. But you see, any time that anyone's financial situation is threatened, such as China's financial situation was threatened by your president, that things will become hostile. And they are not completely hostile at this time, but the thought processes of China are very hostile against the United States at this point. Also, Russia sees opportunities in the Middle East. They would like to have some of the things that they have, and to start a war would be to actually be able to perhaps uh, become allies with people that have a lot of this wealth and a lot of this uh, uh, money, and they would be able to siphon some of that off. So Russia is like, uh, uh, yeah, develop the army and wants to be friends with rich people, I see. Yes, of course, it makes sense. Doesn't it to you? Unfortunately, yeah. And your United States did the same thing uh, with the Bush campaign against Iran. What they were really after was the oil. Of course. That and was quite support. obvious, yeah. And so, but even though there was weapons of mass destruction that they have hidden away and it are, would never be found, there could they are in such secret areas they could not be found. But that is not, they did not have as much as they were accused of having. I, I wonder if there were some uh, ancient um, alien artifacts in, in Baghdad and that was the main purpose of capturing it. Artifacts are very important right now, yes. But they are not active on your planet, only five. Um, there will be much more activity with relics in the future. All right. Um, thank you very much for coming. I, um, I wish you, um, are, are you, 
Are you have you were you were you born on on, on Earth planet? Yes. I say welcome back. I mean, it's just I'm being born very soon. I'm not quite born yet. Oh, I see. Welcome back. Thank you. You're all welcome. Uh, uh, I I wonder if Grindel is available. All right. My yes, my voice changes because I'm in flux. I'm yeah, I noticed. To, um, many different lifetimes are coming through, and this perhaps I shouldn't have even come through today. But no, no, that I, was very helpful, and it's nice to speak to you again. But I hear that the all the different lives are there, so. And there is nothing about twelve kings there. Not, not in my situation, no. I see. <clears throat> I will bring Grindel in. I'll give you a chant. Yeah, why am I always the last resort, you know? Feel like a used tire. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. You are. You yeah, are I know. Out. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm here. Hey, I got through pretty fast that time. I'm thank impressed with coming. myself. <laughs> thank, thank you for coming. Yeah, I, I miss yeah, you. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah. Uh, I'm all right. All right. Um, so, you know the questions. So two questions. 12 Kings versus Stoles and um, financial situation. Yeah, they're they're real. They're real. Um, I looked into them. They they started to uh, appear about a couple months ago. Yeah, maybe even longer than that. Maybe as far back as May. So I'm not sure exactly when, but they're they're definitely coming through. They're definitely oh. very powerful beings. They're there, and they seem very positive. So mm -hmm. I'm looking and saying to you that uh, at this point, I'm thinking that they're very, very good. So let's Yay. see. What? Yay. Good. Yeah. But uh, let's see what they have to say. We're, I'm waiting for something more than uh what they started with i'm looking for a deeper meaning here what's the deepest what are their deep thoughts you know i i see that he gave you a a, a brilliant uh exhortation about um uh, how the world is but he didn't say how he's changing it Right. I mean, he explains yeah. that they, they, they will uh, activate the portals and uh, take over the, the power. Yeah. There there are already two Stargates are, are activated. Stargate 11 and Stargate 6. So I don't know what... I know that they have control of them, too. These kings have control of these two portals. But uh, nice. they have these two Stargates are in their control. But they're not active yet in the sense that they're sending people back and forth. But they are active in the sense that they are usable. But what has to happen next is that DNA has to be changed out of these uh, Stargates from centuries ago and put in new DNA so that they can uh, use the Stargates to go places. So, but that means this. It's not as simple as it sounds. They have to clean out the old DNA, put new DNA in the Stargates, and put that DNA in the Stargates that are the places where they want to travel. If they only put them in the two Stargates on Earth, that means they can go back and forth between those, those two Stargates. If they want to travel to another planet, they're going to have to put DNA wherever the Stargates are uh, in Sirius, Orion, and Pleiades. Because that's where most of the Stargates are 
off of your world. Your world seems to have quite a few stargates. So it was a central place for gathering and meeting. Plus the fact that it's at the end of the galaxy where it's sort of out of the way for a lot of different species. And so they've learned, they learned to use Earth as a place where they can have a little privacy. So they transport themselves all the way across the galaxy or all the way across several galaxies to get to Earth because it's out of the way and people don't, uh, uh, species don't go there. Now everybody's going there because it's getting a lot of attention for several different reasons. So you have a lot of company now, but for the longest time, you were a private planet where they could do meetings and treaties and all kinds of things that were a little out of the, out of the ordinary. Plus, wars were fought here when they discovered that there was uh, some particular aliens here, but they weren't aware of all the different things that were happening here. So some of these wars would have never happened uh, on your planet if, the, if uh, they knew what was really happening here. So um, your planet is very important. So yeah, these kings seem real. They, uh, there's information about them in, in way distant past history. Uh, uh, you'd have to go back a couple million years to find anything about them. But they're, they, are, they do exist and they have, uh, they have intergalactic and universal uh, connections. You can find out about them from about 17 different galaxies, I think. So um, that's not everywhere, but it's quite a lot. The, at least that's what I know so far. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, I wonder why do they have to fight with souls? Why can just uh, have a peace treaty and because cooperate? Toth wants, teeth, Toth wants complete control. He doesn't want to share control. Even though that's what he told all the people that were helping him, that he would have wanted to share control, he has actually taken the control. So he is... He is not being ruled by anybody. And the people around him do benefit by supporting him. Absolutely. He's very generous. He's given them galaxies and whatever they want. But he still rules it all. He still, they still have to report to him. So that is news to me. I didn't realize Thoth, Thoth was in charge. I, thought, I, I knew he is, uh, he is uh, knowledgeable, but that he's in charge is something new. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure he's in charge? Um, of certain things, I'm sure he's in charge of several different galaxies, yes. All right. Can you, you cannot elaborate on that? Well, I have to get the facts straight first. Okay, okay. All right, I have to, I have to go. My oh, wait, wait, wait. I have, I have an important question for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm uh, choosing where to do my research, and somehow I'm, I'm I'm attracted to Russia by some reason. I I feel that because of instability there, there is more opportunities. Yeah. Not that I'm moving there, but at least uh, I'm thinking about doing some of my science in Russia through through other people, through hired yeah. workers. It's cheaper there, and uh, good good quality scientists there. So yeah. what do you think about the stability of Russia? What, what do you see? It's, it's not going it's, it's to collapse anytime soon, meaning that you still have several years to work there. But it is not as stable as it used to be. OK. Um, all right. And the same thing about America. You think it's, it's OK for now? Yeah, America is actually in a little worse shape in some ways, but a little better shape in other ways. So it's, it's, a, it's a trade off. But uh, yeah, it won't collapse yet, no. Is there, any, is there a time for another question or do you have to go? Well, I'm, I, my guy is waking up. What do you need? Uh, I'm about, about Jewish people. I just discovered that uh, Jews of the Northern Europe 
Europe appeared here 600 years ago. And that is very fascinating. Yeah. Do, do you have any insights on that? Um, like what kind of insights do you want? Uh, maybe that was like alien seeding or something like that. Oh, well, everyone on the planet is alien seeded, of course. So yes, they but were. 600, but 600 years ago, it's very recent. It's yeah, like, well, it was a, um, a genetic transfer. So it was kind of a seeding. Yeah. I mean, they already like appeared here. It was like hundreds or thousands of people just popping up. Yeah. Well, they, they, they like landed here or? I no. Mean, they, no, they were, um, there was a section of society that was um, sort of hidden away. They were isolated. And so they were in an isolated community of thought and uh, they were released into the, the realm of the public uh, after a while. So that's why they just appeared. They were not, they were, they were on the earth. They were getting used to the earth for a long time then they were released into it. So there was no uh, just uh, alien alien hybrids? Yeah, they're hybrids. No, alien hybrids coming on Earth uh, to Earth 600 years. They didn't land. No, they didn't like land 600 years ago. They were on the Earth for at least a couple hundred years learning about how to fit in. Yeah. Oh, so okay. Go. All right, all right. Thank you. Great help. Yeah, nice right. to Nice Bye. to talk to you. Hello. Hi, Jim. Nice session. Sorry, I had to like uh, change the speakers quite often. Like there was four speakers. Oh, that's okay. All right. Ooh. Okay. How are you doing? Good session. Wonderful session. Thank you much. Oh, you're welcome. Have a good day. You too. All right. Bye bye. Bye.